pheochromocytoma is the topic for this video. And pheochromocytoma is essentially a tumor of the adrenal gland. And in particular, the adrenal gland, if I were to draw a cross-section, for example, what we're talking about is the center of the adrenal gland, known as the adrenal medulla. And this is, of course, an endocrine gland. And what's important about this is that adrenal medulla secretes catecholamines. And those catecholamines, if there's a tumor, will be elevated in the bloodstream. And the two catecholamines are epinephrine and norepinephrine. And um, these uh, catecholamines can cause some very uh, dramatic symptoms. And the tumor tends to release them sort of episodically. So the symptoms, therefore, occur episodically or in paroxysms. And this is a very key word to remember on licensing exams. So you have a typical scenario of a patient that has paroxysmal um, attacks. So they come and go. And during these attacks, you've got some very key uh, things that are happening. The first thing is headache. The second thing is a tremendous sweating, diaphoresis. And the third is palpitations. Now keep in mind, there's a lot of other symptoms that can occur when you have elevated levels of catecholamines such as epinephrine and norepinephrine. But one that's very, very characteristic is very high blood pressure, hypertension. Now, what distinguishes this from an, any other case of high blood pressure is that the high blood pressure comes and goes. Blood pressure is completely normal, and then all of a sudden it spikes up really high and causes headaches and all these other symptoms. And these uh, attacks can last up to 15 minutes. So when the patient comes and describes to a physician, it's a, a very unique history, a unique symptomatology. That it, These are paroxysmal attacks. They're not really things that happen constantly. Uh, they come and go. So how do you go about diagnosing this? Diagnosis of pheochromocytoma is actually very difficult because most physicians will not jump to these tests because the tests are very specific and normally these tests are not done. So before we talk about the test, let's just talk about the fact that the adrenal gland, in particular the adrenal medulla, the middle part of the gland, secretes these catecholamines, epinephrine and norepinephrine. Now when these catecholamines break down in the body, they break down into metabolites. And it's the metabolites that you are going to test for. And you test for those in the urine. And those catecholamine products are very important because they're on almost every licensing exam. And they are VMA and HVA. And I'll write it all out for you. So urine test and you're checking for the breakdown products of epinephrine and norepinephrine and they are the first one is called VMA and that stands for vanilla mandelic acid And the second one is called HVA, which is homovanillic acid. So this is the diagnostic test to check for pheochromocytoma. Now, of course, because it's a tumor, you will also need to do a CT of the abdomen. So then how do you treat it? There's two things, of course. The first, uh, the treatment of choice, TOC, treatment of choice, is surgical removal of the tumor. 
and before you do that you want to stabilize the patient uh, with an alpha blocker and that alpha blocker is phenoxybenzamine and what this does is it uh, helps um, to control the hypertension so let's go into some clinical vignettes a 25 year old male reports episodic spells characterized by palpitations, sweating, nervousness, anxiety. On exam, the blood pressure is 165 over 95. Norepinephrine is 450. When normal is only 150 to 400. Epinephrine is 115. Normal is between 25 and 100. And 24-hour urinary or VMA is 11. Normal is less than 8. Which of the following is the most likely cause of the patient's hypertension? Well, it's a great question. Everything's all spelled out for you. You've got a relatively young person uh, you've got uh, the symptomatology, palpitations, the sweating. And he describes it as episodic, which is with those paroxysmal attacks. Blood pressure is high. They've given you all, everything in this question. Uh, the catecholamines are high, norepinephrine and epinephrine. And this 24-hour VMA, which is the breakdown products of epinephrine and norepinephrine, in the urine are also high and 24 hours just means that the urine was collected for 24 hours so all that points to fear chromocytoma the next question a 50 year old man consults a physician because he has been having transient episodes of rapid heartbeat accompanied by sweating flushing and a sense of impending doom physical exam is unrevealing with no evidence of arrhythmia at the time of event However, the man's wife is a nurse, so the physician asks that she take vital signs the next time one of the episodes occurs. She does, and demonstrates a blood pressure of 195 over 140, with a heart rate of 160 during the episode. She promptly takes her husband to the ER, but the spell is over by the time that he is seen. Urinary measurement of which of the following would be most diagnostic in this case? Excellent question, again. Uh, this man definitely has a symptomatology, but the symptoms are episodic or in paroxysms. They come and go. And the urinary measurement is of the breakdown products of epinephrine and norepinephrine, and that would be VMA. These are the catecholamine breakdown products. And finally, 33-year-old man comes to the office, complaining of three months of severe headache, preceded by sweating and palpitations, denies any chest pains or shortness of breath with these episodes. He has not taken any new medications and denies excessive caffeine intake and illicit drug use. Uh, blood pressure, temp is normal, blood pressure is normal, pulse is normal, respiration is normal. Physical and neurologic exams are unremarkable. Thyroid function tests, CBC, 24-hour urine cortisol are all within normal limits. Urine catecholamines are elevated. You order a CT of the abdomen, which shows an adrenal mass. The most appropriate next step is two. Well, it looks like um, you've clinched the diagnosis, so there's no reason to feel chromocytoma. So what they're really saying is, what's the management? The treatment of choice is this one. But before you do the surgery, you need to stabilize the patient's blood pressure, and that is done with an alpha blocker. And the name of that alpha blocker is phenoxybenzamine.